Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and the other day Apple released macOS Sonoma 14.4.1 to the public. macOS 14.4.1 Sonoma is available around the world at the same time and has some important bug fixes and security updates. Now this particular update came in at 3.54 gigabytes. That's on my M3 Max MacBook Pro. Let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So we'll go to the Apple, then we'll go to about this Mac. And as you can see, it's already installed with Sonoma 14.4.1. If we click on it, you can see the build number of 23E224. That just lets you know you're on the latest version. And this released a few days after we had the release of iOS 17.4.1 and many other updates as well. We still don't have a watchOS update and Apple re-released iOS 17.4.1, but just allows it to be installed via iTunes or Finder on a Mac. It does fix a few things that are pretty important. The first thing has to do with USB hubs and different USB hubs were not working. Apple has it on their community forum, Mac rumors posted about it and many other places as well. This actually fixes this where it may not be recognized when it was connected to an external display. Also, if we go into the app store and maybe you're using professional audio, such as logic pro or something else, there were some issues that this fixes where copy protected audio unit plugins designed for these apps wouldn't work properly or pass validation. So that's something that's been updated. And also Java has been updated as well. Java themselves posted this article where from their senior director of product management, he said Java users on Mac OS 14 running on Apple Silicon systems should skip Mac OS 14.4 and update directly to Mac OS 14.4.1 as this fixes the issue. You couldn't run Java programs correctly and they would just typically quit. Also, if you're having issues with your trackpad or mouse not working when you click on something, that's something I actually had a problem with that seems to be fixed in this update. So sometimes I would go ahead and click on maybe an app. Maybe I would go to close the app. Sometimes it just wouldn't do anything. It would highlight it and then not do anything and not allow me to click. That seems to be fixed in this update. Apple also released two important security updates with this one. If we go to Apple's security website and we scroll down, you'll see that we have macOS Sonoma 14.4.1, as well as macOS Ventura updates, and even Safari for older Macs running Monterey or macOS Ventura, or maybe just newer Macs running those older versions. They also updated this for iOS 17.4.1, iOS 16.7.7, and Vision OS 1.1.1. So all of these are updated, and if we we go into this, you'll see that we have two things that they've fixed, one with core media, one with WebRTC, where the impact is processing an image may lead to arbitrary code execution. They fixed it with an out of bounds write issue, which was addressed with improved input validation. And then the CVE number is given with the person that helped them find the bug in general. So those are two important security updates and that's available now. So if you're wondering if you should install or update to Mac OS 14.4.1, well, I definitely would at this point as it's fixed a lot of issues, not just the issues in maybe Mac OS 14.4, but it seems to be running pretty well. And I've been using it for a few days, editing video in Final Cut Pro, running things such as Pixelmator Pro, as well as all of the different apps you see here. I run them all day long and I've had no issues whatsoever since installing this. I also have this installed in a Mac Studio and a MacBook Air with no issues whatsoever. So I'm pretty happy to report that it seems to be doing much better and thankfully I don't use those hubs and have those issues that were present for others, but it seems to be fixed. As far as when you should expect the next update, well, we're waiting for betas of iOS 17.5 beta one, as well as Mac OS 14.5 beta one. And we could see those as soon as later today or tomorrow, or possibly next week. It seems a little bit late this time around, but Apple did release iOS 17.4 earlier in the month to comply with the European Union sideloading and third party app store rules. So maybe they're just waiting for it to sort of run to the same sort of time frame we had last year with iOS 16.4 and Mac OS 13.4, 13.5. So we'll be sort of on the same release schedule. Of course, the other day, Apple announced WWDC 2024, and that's on June 10th through the 14th. So this will be at Apple Park. Certain people will be invited. And on that day, typically after the event, we'll see the release of many new betas, such as iOS 18 beta one, probably Mac OS 11 beta one, other updates with Vision OS, Watch OS, and more. So expect that a little bit later in a couple months or so.
Now, as far as the overall performance, like I said, I've been using it with Final Cut Pro exporting video. In fact, the past few videos since Monday have been exported using Mac OS 14.4.1 without any issues whatsoever. So no problems there. And then also as far as battery goes, well, if we go into system settings, this one is actually my M3 MacBook Pro that's not too old, but if we go into my battery health, you'll see I have 100% battery. I typically leave this plugged into a studio display, so I really haven't had any issues there. And as far as the battery cycle count, let's go into the Apple. And you'll see under power within our MacBook Pro here, it says we have a cycle count of eight. So of course I'd expect it to be at 100% capacity still. So it's doing quite well. I haven't noticed any differences in battery life, but again, it's mostly plugged into a studio display. Now, if you've found anything else, any features or changes or anything I haven't mentioned, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And of course, I'll link the wallpaper for the iPhone version of this wallpaper in the description below. If you haven't subscribed already, though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.